notes are available in the description of video please download your notes in today's lecture it is a topic of developmental biology in this unit we will discuss two very important chapters one is development of frog and second is development of chick in today's lecture we will discuss development of chick first of all we will discuss structure of spermatozoon here in this diagram it is very clear this structure of spermatozoon in case of birds or in case of chick it consists of one two three four parts its anterior most part and this anterior most part it is acrosome which is made up of golgi body and this part which acts as a skeletal structure and it involves in the penetration of this spermatozoon into an ovum this acrosome which is made up of golgi complex the second part is and this part is head or it is nucleus dear students note down this second part which lies just below this acrosome and this head or nucleus it consists of dense chromatin it means the nucleus consists of genetic material and this third part this middle part it is known as powerhouse or it is middle piece and its anterior part of this middle piece that is neck region and in that region one two centrioles are there anterior the first centriole is it is proximal centriole and this lower centriole it is distal centriole note down each and every point this proximal centriole and this first centriole which involves in cleavage divisions in the divisions of zygote but this distal centriole and this distal centriole involves in the formation of a flagellum axial filament having 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubules while the structures of both these proximal and distal centrioles that is a pin wheel like structure and it shows 9 plus 0 arrangement of microtubules it means the 9 outer peripheral the microtubules which shows triplet arrangement and this middle piece it is powerhouse because it consists of mitochondria it means this middle piece it provides energy for the movements of spermatozoa and this last part it is tail and this tail it is without any end piece and this tail it acts as a flagellum it possesses an actual filament having an arrangement of 9 plus 2 microfilaments it means two microtubules are central and nine are peripheral like cilia and flagella next very important topic that is a structure of egg or structure of ovum in case of chick the egg or ovum it is cleidoic not down each and every point it is cleidoic it means the egg is well protected by a hard calcareous shell not down this is the outer part of this egg it is covered by a hard calcareous calcareous means it is made up of calcium carbonate it is shell as well as this chick egg it is megalacethal dear students it is macrolacethal it is meolacethal it is telolacethal as it consists of heavy amount of yolk and this ovum is it is about 5 cm in length and its width is that is 3 cm note down this ovum it consists of following envelopes its coats are this outermost coat it is shell which is calcareous next to this shell one two layered these are shell membranes not down both these shell membranes outer and inner shell membranes both these membranes remain in contact to each other 
but near this towards this broader end of this ovum these both outer and inner shell membranes separate from each other and these membranes enclose an air space or air chamber towards this broader end the third envelope is that is albumin and this albumin is also named as white of egg note down this outer coat it is shell which is calcareous then two one two outer and inner shell membranes and these both membranes outer and inner remain in contact to each other but towards this broader end both these membranes separate and enclose an air chamber this third envelope is it is egg albumin or it is white of egg it consists of three parts its outer part that is thin albumin middle part that is dense albumin and this inner part is it is chalaciferous albumin in this central part the yolk is present on both sides of this yolk this chalaciferous albumin it produces twisted quiet cord like structure and these are chalaciferous rods or these are chalacha this albumin is lined by another envelope and this one is it is vital line membrane it is also named fertilization membrane it means in case of chick egg four envelopes are there one is shell then two shell membranes this white of egg it is albumin having three parts outer thin middle dense albumin and this innermost it is chalaciferous albumin and the this albumin which is surrounded by another envelope and this one is it is vitaline membrane or fertilization membrane it encloses the central masses that is yolk and this small yolk free active cytoplasm and this small disk like structure which is yolk free region and this small disk in which active cytoplasm is there it is named germinal disk or blasto disk dear students note down this central part which lies just below this vital and membrane this central part it is yolk and this very small part in the form of a small disc this one is it is blasto disc it is active cytoplasm or it is germinal disc in the center of this blasto disc nucleus is present it means development of embryo development of zygote that takes place in this blasto disc in this germinal disc it is light in weight and this blasto disc it lies towards animal pole while this region of egg in which towards this heavy amount of yolk is there it is vegetal pole it means the chick egg having two poles towards this animal pole this blasto disc germinal disc the pole is animal pole towards this animal pole embryo development takes place and in this region it is vegetal pole heavy amount of yolk is there the central part of this yolk in which this flask shaped white yolk that produce a flask shaped structure it is late bra and it's this neck like region is this tubular part is it is neck of late bra and its outer expanded part is this extension just 
below the blast door disc germinal disc it is named isthmus or nucleus of pander now down this yolk having alternately arranged yellow yolk and white yolk layers this is all about structures of spermatozoon and egg or ovum of chick no down in case of birds in case of chick the spermatozoon it is a elongated thread like filamentous and wormy form means worm like structure and this spermatozoon having four parts this anterior most part which is acrosome it is skeletal structure that involves in the penetration of this spermatozoon into an ovum and it is made up of golgi body that involves in the secretion of lactic enzyme to dissolve the egg coats then the next part is it is head or it is nucleus that consists of dense chromatin or genetic material and this third part is it is middle piece it is powerhouse and its anterior part which is neck like structure that consists of two centrioles one is proximal and lower is distal centriole and this last part it is tail and the tail that consists of an actual filament shows a flagellum like structure having 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubules and the structure of chick egg ovum that is it is cleidoic it is well protected by a hard calcareous shell and it consists of heavy amount of yolk so it is mega it is macroless ether and it consists of four envelopes this outermost it is shell then two shell membranes this third part which is white of yolk it is albumin and this inner layer is it is white line or it is germinal membrane then the yolk the central part which is occupied this yolk and this very small disc like yolk free egg. reason is it is active cytoplasm in which nucleus is there it is blasto disc it is germinal disc and this central part which is flask shaped structure it is latebra its tubular part is neck of latebra and this upper expanded part just near this blasto disc it is isthmus or nucleus of pender and the yolk having alternately arranged layers of white and yellow yolk this is all about gametes of chick thank you